Hi everyone, it's Rachel and Anthony Hello. from Don't Crop Me Now. I could not be more excited today because we are going to check out our giant cabbage. Now we planted this cabbage back in February and grew the seedlings on and then it was planted out in late spring. So I'm really hopeful we're going to get a decent heart of a cabbage in there. I've never done this before and I got the seeds from giantveg.com so I know that the right type of seeds and it doesn't look too bad, it looks pretty big but there's certainly been a little bit of slug damage underneath there and I have to say we haven't really uncovered this properly even since planting just a couple of times to pull a few of the weeds out so this is going to be the big reveal. So we have taken the EnviroMesh netting off and we didn't film that bit and let's have a closer look at our giant cabbage. So as you can see we've got the outer leaves, they've got quite a bit of slug damage on it. Definitely a few, even there's a little snail so they've been having a good munch. But let's look what's going on underneath. There's some white fly here but that's to be expected at this time of year. But if we give this a good feel feels pretty solid in there actually so uh, I think we've got a cabbage so the next job I'm going to do is just pull out of these outer leaves that have got the slug damage on and they can just go on the compost anyway I have a feeling that we may be eating cabbage every day for quite some time. And the irony is we've got loads of other cabbages as well, but this was just a bit of an experiment. I have to say it was easy to do, you just got to start the seeds quite early and this will be nowhere near a, a record breaking cabbage, I'm sure they grow a lot bigger than this. good production for the compost actually as well so you can see the weeds under here because we haven't really this is one of our no dig beds but I haven't really touched this other than weeding slightly I'd say putting my hand in and pulling the odd weeds out you know one or two times so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this cutter to just cut through the stem And here is our giant cabbage. <laughs> 